What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a Gordon's Cup. So the Gordon's Cup was created by Sasha Petrosky in 2005 for the East Side Company Bar in New York City. It is a gin caipirinha with the addition of cucumber. That's basically all it is. That being said, it has completely been made a modern classic. A lot of people love this cocktail. When we did the Gordon's Breakfast a little while ago, a lot of people said how much they like the Gordon's Cup. It is definitely a follow-up. I might have been able to do it in one video, but I kind of like having the two different videos as they are different drinks, very much different drinks. So the first thing we're going to do is put our lime wedges in the bottom of the, of the cocktail shaker. I like to make sure that the lime wedges are peel side down and flesh side up uh, because when you press it with the muddler, you don't want to extract too much bitterness out of the pith, but you do want to extract the essential oil. So you want to sort of like muddle down the flesh of the fruit and then press the uh, skin, but kind of have it lightly pressed. So if it's pressed against the bottom of the strainer, that being said, I just like totally ran over my thought. If it's at the bottom, pressed against the bottom of the strainer, you get a better extraction is what I should have said, but I did not finish my thought. That said, it, this is a cone shape and it and is smaller on the bottom. So it, you will have to layer them on top of each other. Just try and make sure that those peels are facing down and that you're not muddling the peel just so you don't get that bitterness. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Cucumber. Now I did these, I'm going to show you. I actually did these tiny little cucumbers. There's like these little Persian cucumbers. So I'm using twice the amount, but if you're using a regular size cucumber, just do three slices. I'm doing six because they're so tiny. And then we're just going to give it like a nice little press. Okay. There we go. And we're just going to add three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup and two ounces of gin. Now, this cocktail was designed as a shake and dump, meaning you just shake it and dump it into the glass. That is how I'm going to do it. Now, I know a lot of times I say that I like a um, kind of clean sort of presentation of my cocktails, which I do. But honestly, I think that this has a lot to gain from having the fruit and the, and the uh, little bits of cucumber in there. And when I feel like it benefits the cocktail, I like to do it that way. Also, this is how it was intended by its maker. And so that's another good reason to do it this way. I'm just gonna give it a nice shake. Trying for that sprezzatura. And then we are just gonna dump it into our glass. And actually, I think we can actually behoove us to put a couple extra ice cubes in there. And then what we're gonna do is add a little pinch of salt, a couple pinches of salt. You're using some nice Malden sea salt. Definitely use some high quality like kosher salt or sea salt if you can. Iodized salt is a little too salty in its flavor. And then we're just gonna do a little cracked pepper on top. And there you have it, my friends, the Gordon's Cup. Let's give it a taste. Mm. That's so good. It's like that sugar just balances out the lime, but because we've extracted the essential oils out of the peel, that lime is just so vibrant. So I like to call that three-dimensional flavor, something that just has, that seems like it has more than one dimension and you can like pick out different flavor profiles. It's, it's tart. It's got a little vegetalness to it. It's, the salt is always going, I, I am a big fan, just like, I think somebody like once quoted back to me that um, uh, Dave Arnold always says that he's a big fan of putting a pinch of salt into any cocktail and I completely agree. Salt is a flavor enhancer and anytime you use it, it just like enhances the flavor so much of whatever you're putting it into. And you just got like this nice, really refreshing, beautiful cocktail. I would drink this at brunch. I would crush this. So here you have it, my friends, the Gordon's Cup. Now, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to check us out on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash back. I was going to say slash back, but I don't even think it's a backslash. It's just patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Uh, we have got good perks there for everybody. You should just come check it out. Help us make the show. Anyway, I love you all and I will see you on another cocktail tutorial.